What is up guys? It's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're going to be looking at Winner's Path and the Yuletide Titan event just because they do tie in together because of course they're both how, you know, that's how we're going to be getting Tormund through both these events. Um, I do apologize guys, I'm dying with man flu. So I'm going to try and keep my energy levels high and I apologize if I do start coughing. I just can't help it. I'm literally dying. Um, but anyway, so let's touch on Yuletide Titan event first. So we've got two weeks, two days to complete this. Um, we are almost halfway there. I've literally done every event and tournament that we physically can for this. Uh, the tournament that I have standing out, uh, outstanding at the moment is Champion Chase. So we've still got two days, 16 hours for this. And um, there's a two times Ancients going on at the moment. So I kind of want to save my Ancient Shards. So... I'm going to try and do this just using mystery shards, which might be difficult. Um, if push comes to shove, I am going to just burn through a couple of ancients, but I want to try and hold on to those. And for the last, um, what was it, summon rush event, um, I pulled 82 ancients. And for Tormund, that is 100% worth. Um, in my opinion, he's an amazing champion. Um, for Classic Arena, for Plat, obviously he's not going to be as good as he used to be. But for Tag Arena, he's still boss, like defense and offense. And even for Live Arena, like he's so good. Um, he can strip stone skin. He throws out freezes against speed teams. He can do damage. Pairs up really nice with Wukong as well. Just an all round great champion. And you can just build him so many different ways. I, I can't wait to get my hands on Tormund. Got so much love for the guy. So, Winter's Path. So, um, I got 4,000 points. Roughly about 4,000, 4,500 points just from doing Spider Tournament. Um, so that wasn't a huge amount of points. So um, getting artifacts isn't really going to help us. And in my opinion, the best way to do this tournament is definitely through campaign because we're going to be leveling up champions, which gets us points, but we also will get artifacts in the way as well. So that really does help out. Um, Soul Stones, I'm going to try and avoid doing this. Um, so I can get about 15,000 points just from Soul Stones, but I want to try and hold off and save those for the next um, Soul, uh, Soul Stone pulling event because that way I'll get a little more rewards, more bang for my buck. Uh, so purely you want to try and do this just through the campaign. And I really, at first when I looked at this, I thought, oh my God, this is going to be a real struggle. I was wrong. Um, it actually turned out this is pretty easy. Uh, the campaign... It's given me so many points. Um, I've not really gone that hard, and we're already down to sort of what tier three of points. Um, and what we've done as well, we've actually managed to save ourselves two thousand points here by skipping that ancient shard, which is nice. Um, so what my plan is is to pick up these two snowflakes, then take the void shard, and hopefully we can skip taking the soul essence. Uh, definitely avoid the primal shard. It's a trap. It's just a red ancient shard. Don't get it. Skip it, guys. Uh, then we're going to go for... Well, we have to take both these Chaos Ores and then get the Snowflakes. We should be able to do that by tomorrow pretty comfortably. Um, and then we've still got sort of... We'll have two days, 17 hours left by tomorrow to do this. Um, and I'm going to push hard for both these legendary books and that Sacred. Might be able to get a Mythical book if I can. Uh, the only reason I want to get a mythical book is for Lady Mikiaki or Mikagi, whatever her name is, just because um, she's going to need books and I want her just for finite hard. So she'll definitely be worth picking up. Um, but yeah, so yeah, campaign is definitely the way to go. And it has been uh, a lot easier compared to like if I normally do like campaign or champion training tournament events, they are it's a lot harder to get these rewards and I'm finding this to be an absolute breeze. Like I've only six starred one champion. I've only used, I think I've only used a couple of brews as well. So probably 300 brews. Um, so it's not bad at all. It's been pretty easy. Um, and what I'll do is I'm going to use a lot of resources for this event. And then I'm going to go full turtle and basically skip the next couple of champion training events. So maybe skip two of them. Um, but it depends. I might just skip one. I might skip two. But it's just because I want that sacred because 
any chance you can get a, a legendary champion, you need to go for it. And sacreds are your best way of getting legendary champions. So I really hope this helps you guys out. If you guys have got any tricks or tips that you want to share, please drop a comment below. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. I'll catch you all in a video soon. Peace.